Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Sugar. And uh, to a- together we are Nyamakop, a South African-based independent games company. And we're so thankful to the organizers for including our game uh, among this wonderful and experimental selection of games. Thanks, guys. We're uh, making this game called Semblance, which um, just looks like your everyday normal platformer. Right, you can jump over spikes or get hurt. The usual stuff. Jumping, dashing, all the sort of stuff. But where our game really gets interesting is the platforms themselves can be moved. The world itself is made of Play-Doh. Right. It allows us to just play around with what the world could do and what the player's interactions normally are. So normally you'd be like, I can't reach that collectible at the top there. But hold on, I can change the world. So I just bump it up using a classic dash. But now the world itself becomes what the player uses instead of gaining abilities through the world. Yeah, and that's just really what we investigate in this game as an experimental game. Here you can't get over that set of spikes, so you just make the world help you out. Two little mounds that help you get over that set of spikes, and now you can reach the collectible. These are the sort of things we investigate in this world made of Play-Doh. How do platforms themselves, if they could be moved, become interesting gameplay? If you can't get underneath the collectible, what if the ground itself could be lower, allowing you to get there? I think it's that little bit of starting to think of a platform in a completely different way and bring in new elements like the reset beams here. It's where if when the platform is being touched by the reset beam, you can't move it. So what do you do? You move the stuff that's still on the platform yeah. itself. Yeah, we just sort of build on the mechanic. Things that are anchored to the way the platform moves becomes a second order of understanding things. Angles, aiming, beams, all these sort of things that still relate to how platforms themselves can be moved and changed. And then we go on and we say, okay, what other interesting ideas can we have? What if, what happens when a platform changes and resets quickly when you're inside of it? Well, maybe it acts like a slingshot. I really like that mechanic. Yeah, me too, big fan, big fan. And then we just wanted to take it one step further. What if the character itself was part of this world and itself could change shape, fit in between small mechanics? That semblance, and we hope you'll enjoy playing it. Thanks, guys.